Hello, today we will add a discussion board into a content folder within a course library or similar system within Blackboard. To start this, you want to navigate to your course library or your similar system. In this course, you can see over here we have weekly course lessons that has been replaced, um, that has replaced the course library for this course. Once you're in your weekly course lessons folder, you want to select the week or content folder that you're going to add the discussion board to. In our case, we're doing it to week 3, which is September 9th through 13th. In order to do this, we want to go to our Tools function and select the first option, which is Discussion Board. Once we've selected that option, we are taken to a new page to create our link. Now there's two different ways you can do this. Um, if you link to a discussion board page, um, this will take you to the main discussion board page and students will have to select the actual discussion board that you are wanting them to post to. However, we have a second option here where we can select a discussion board forum. Now this is an option you can use if you've already created all of your discussion boards within the course management menu under course tools under discussion board. Um, which is this gray, gray mm -hmm. menu right down here. So if you've already created your discussion boards, you want to select your second option, which is select a discussion board forum, and select the discussion board um, that you want to attach. In this case, we're doing discussion board one for week three. Now after you've done that, we're going to click next. Remember, you only want to single click within the Blackboard Learning Management um, system, as sometimes double clicking can lock you out. Now, after you've created your the first step in your link, it'll bring up a link information page um, where you can change the name if you would like to. You can put it in a certain color. If you'd like to add additional text, you have that option. Um, you can choose its availability. You can put on your statistics tracking if you would like, and we are going to. You can also set time and date restrictions um, if you want them to have access to this from a specific day and time to a specific day and time. This is where you want to do that. It saves you from having to come back in and making the link available later. Um, instead, it can operate on what this is called as an adaptive release. It can operate on this adaptive release and you don't have to worry about it. The course kind of autopilots on this. Um, most of the features within Blackboard have the ability to set a date and time restriction. So if it's something that you're interested in, um, please, please, please contact Aiden Sizemore and we can go over it in more depth about how adaptive releases work and if they'd be appropriate for your course. Once you've filled in any extraneous information that you want to include in this, you just hit the submit button again by clicking only once. And you get your green success bar and you can see here that the discussion for week one has been created. Um, you can put this anywhere you want in the course. We're going to leave as it is. You notice it will tell us that statistics tracking is available on this. Um, if you do enable that feature, it will let you know on the page that it is available. Now, if you click to this discussion number one for week three link, we can see that it links to the discussion forum for week three, which has already actually been completed. Mm -hmm. um, this has been Aiden Sizemore with how to create a discussion board link within a course library or similar course system.